Sulfonylureas in two minutes. Let's begin. Sulfonylureas are a class of medications that are commonly used to lower blood glucose in type 2 diabetes. The first generation sulfonylureas are rarely used anymore, largely being replaced by the second generation, since the second generation sulfonylureas are much more potent with less side effects. Down here, we have the chemical structure of glycoside, and you can identify its sulfonylurea functional group here. So how exactly do sulfonylureas reduce blood sugar? Sulfonylureas act on the beta cells of the pancreas to increase insulin secretion. Insulin is a natural peptide hormone that promotes the absorption of glucose into our body cells, causing a reduction in blood glucose. For a more in-depth explanation of the mechanism of action, check out my other video. Second generation sulfonylureas tend to start increasing insulin levels within 15 to 60 minutes of taking the medication, with peak concentrations of the drug in approximately two to six hours, depending on if you are taking the slow release product. Moving on to the side effects of these drugs, since these medications cause an increase in insulin secretion, there is a risk of lowering blood glucose too much. Hypoglycemia is a risk, especially in patients with impaired kidney and liver function, as these medications are cleared from the body with these organs. Gliburide and glipizide also tend to have a greater risk of hypoglycemia, so glycoside and glimperide may be more preferred agents. Weight gain of approximately 1 to 3 kilograms is also a side effect that may occur with sulfonylureas, as an increase of glucose absorption into body cells may increase adipose tissue. Additionally, GI side effects may also occur, including nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, fullness, and diarrhea.